Okay, let's tackle our final example problem that has a fraction underneath the square root. Okay, so again, you can try to simplify down your fraction, and if you can, you can square root it. And also, you guys, if you understand what you're doing and you want to try this one on your own, I encourage you to do so. That's a thumbs up. Otherwise, let's continue on. All right, so I cannot simplify 21, sorry, 25 over 81. It will not reduce down. But if you notice, I can square root 25 and I can square root 81. Holy hot dog, right? So since I can square root the numerator and denominator, I'm just going to square root each piece and simplify my answer. And then I'll be done. So I'm going to square root the numerator, 25, and the denominator, which is 81. With the square root of 25, what times what gives you 25? Indeed, that would be a 5. And what is the square root of 81? What times what gives you 81? That's the same number. Exactly, you guys, it would be a 9. So the square root of 25 over 81 is 5 ninths. Way to go, you guys.